Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Let me introduce myself once again. My name is Kent, the channel is EOS San Diego, and right there, that's where I'm at. I'm at the Carlsbad Village Station in Carlsbad, California, and right there's the track that the EOS train runs on. But I don't know if the train's coming through tonight because they tell me there's construction, so we may not see the train tonight. But uh, anyway, once again, talk a little bit about the price. The price is down. Price is below $5. I didn't think it was going back down below $5. But it has. Bitcoin has gone down too. So all cryptocurrencies are down once again. And I have a feeling sometimes that the uh, right now what, what may be taking place is that the ETFs for Bitcoin may be coming very soon. There's been some appointments to the Security and Exchange Commission that are pro-Bitcoin. And the funds may be acquiring Bitcoin right now. So there may be some effort to try to keep the price low while these funds accumulate Bitcoin in, uh, in anticipation of these, 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 uh, these ETFs coming up very soon. And ETFs are going to be needed in order for the crypto space, the cryptocurrency space, to be widely accepted. Not a lot of people, not everybody wants to deal with the public and private key and the potential of losing their 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 Bitcoin because they've messed something up or forgotten their key or lost their key and I've had I've done some stuff too where I've lost cryptocurrency in fact I did an exchange one time where I went from one exchange to another exchange with my EOS and I forgot to put the memo in and I still haven't been able to recover that EOS so a lot of people don't feel comfortable with the blockchain and uh, and transactions and how it works so the funds gonna streamline it make it a lot more easy to use and of course uh, it'll the funds will have to have the Bitcoin in inventory which means they'll be buying lots of Bitcoin and this may be a good time for them to buy Bitcoin because the price is very low and um, that may be what's going on with the price so if that's the case with the price I see the price going up very soon because people will be buying or the funds will be buying Bitcoin or just to trade on these funds the inventory is being required and I hear more and more about how I think the ETFs are going to be happening very soon but I want to talk a little bit about, um, I was watching a national advertisement today, and it was talking about the IBM blockchain. Of course, IBM does the blockchain as well as EOS. And in IBM's blockchain, they have what they call a blockchain you have to be invited to. It's called the permissioned blockchain, where you have to have permission to be on the blockchain. So on a supply side uh, chain, where you have food going from one place to another place or some product going from one place to another place, there will be a group of people along the way that would be tracking the item, the food item, coming from maybe South America that's coming to the United States. All along the way, all the people that handle that will be able to be tracked on the supply side um, side of the uh, of, of the transporting that inventory or transporting that food or whatever product they're making and this is what IBM's doing and it's doing it with a lot of companies involved where they invite a group of people on the blockchain and everybody can see where the products going um, you know what the condition of it is um, and all all the other things that need to be done and they can see it because it's it's um, transparent and it's uh, it's shared and it can't be altered or changed and that's what's so great about the blockchain this is why IBM is doing the uh, the hyperledger which is the ledger where you have to be involved you have to be invited whereas EOS is the permissionless ledger so EOS is transparent it's distributed it's uh, decentralized but it's also where you don't have to be invited where something like IBM's blockchain is but the point I'm trying to make here is the blockchain is the blockchain and the blockchain is 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 really when companies like IBM are doing blockchain along with Walmart and all the other companies that are shipping uh, goods around the world when they're doing blockchain you know blockchain is going to be uh, technology of the future it'll be taking over all of the supply side chain of products moved around the world because that's the only way you can actually do this if you don't do it on the blockchain then it's not going to happen. Uh, you need the blockchain in order to keep track of worldwide commerce, worldwide transportation, uh, worldwide inventory, everything that goes, it needs to be shared and it needs to be on the blockchain. So this is why blockchain technology is so important 
this is why it's the future because companies like IBM, Walmart, Amazon, all the people that are su supplying with goods around the world want to be on a blockchain. And that's the reason why blockchain, I believe, has such a bright future. But whereas EOS is a blockchain where you don't have to be invited, EOS is a blockchain where anybody that wants to buy the token and anybody wants to build on it will be able to be involved with EOS, which means uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the permissionless blockchain. It's the blockchain that's, that's, that's available to anybody. Anybody can use it, anybody can do it. All you have to do is you just have to uh, purchase the token or you just need to build on the EOS blockchain. So after that, oh, I want to talk a little bit about the challenge app. We're very close to being released, releasing it. We want to have it released before the London Hackathon. So, you know, we want to be able to, to, to have people talk about it at the London Hackathon. And so we're going to have it done below before the London Hackathon. So we should have the uh, the, the uh, challenge uh, DAP done uh, next week sometime because the week after is the London Hackathon. And we want to have it done before that. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.